So you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Today, the Call of Duty League has been called out by one of their best players of all time, Uptick Scumpy. Today, Uptick Scumpy went on Twitter and absolutely unloaded both barrels. Now, I remember the days when Call of Duty players would come on Twitter and actively go at each other as if they hated each other. And some of it was genuine hate towards each other. It was lovely because... It, it's all about that competitive nature. If you support a team and you're in a stadium and you're in close proximity to your opposition, usually a bit of trash talk goes on. And that's something that has been in Call of Duty since its inception in terms of multiplayer and online. Today, Scumpy basically broke his silence on the Call of Duty League. Y you, you can call it blackmail, you can call it whatever you like, but basically taking the pee out of these pro players. And I think this is going to open the floodgates for other players to come clean. One of his tweets he, he said today, I haven't spoke of this publicly really, but I was fine for playing Raid Shadow Legends during a sponsored stream. It was during the off season as well, which makes it worse. My channels are my channels and I shall be able to do what I please, but apparently I can't, which I find absolutely ridiculous because Scump is a household name in his own right. And the Call of Duty League, let's be honest, without these players, it does not exist. They are the reason we tune in to watch the Call of Duty League in the first place. They made it exactly what it is they are also the reason why call of duty has been so successful on those types of platforms he also went on to say the cdl are also making us players sign a contract in front of them without allowing us to run it by our lawyers at the player summit it was a sign it now or you can't play in minnesota type of exchange i'm probably going to get fined for this also but i'm just letting you know so it's a very a very brave move from scum because it's going to have all sorts of repercussions but to be honest when your back's pushed against the wall sometimes you just flip and you don't care anymore and i really do commend him for actually coming out and saying this it's obviously reverberating throughout the community and this is one of the first times i've seen a player actually come out and really challenge the call of duty league because what's happened is big money became involved and players had to abide by call of duty league's rules but as you can see when he's off in the off season and he's uploading something on his personal YouTube channel you should not be finding these people now I know that there's certain obligations if you want to clarify uh, class him as a sports personality because he's an esports uh, personality at the end of the day if you was a footballer and you were signed by nike as a, and they were your sponsor and you just so happened to wear a pair of adidas and get caught pictured in that you would face a very hefty fine but when he is trying to run his own business because that's what his youtube is at the end of the day he should be able to post whatever he likes if you look at other youtubers i don't know uh ali a uh, most big youtubers have a uh, more channel or a let's play channel where they just do what they want on that channel and it's absolutely separate from their you know bread and butter I, I, my best example i can give you of this is get flanked uh flanked does his rainbow six siege channel and then he's got his his other channel and his twitch which is totally separate from his channel and it makes sense because i've done it previously myself where i've had my youtube channel I've played Call of Duty, built it up on Call of Duty, tried to incorporate Fortnite and people just left in droves. So if I had the power and the vision back then, then maybe I would have made a separate YouTube channel for Fortnite. But that is directly messing with his earnings at the end of the day because he earns what he earns off his YouTube aside from Call of Duty League. Scump has also come out and said he it feels like he should leave now and this is what CDL does not want. They, they do not want people who are as good as Scump to turn around and say, you know what, I'm not even going to compete no more because Scump brings in viewership there is no doubts about it and that's what it's all about at the end of the day more views more money 
So let me know down in the comment section if you've seen drama like this in the CDL for, uh, I can't remember how long it's been, but um, it's definitely controversial that the CDL have tried to manipulate players into either sign this contract or you're not playing. <laughs> that, that is really underhand tactics there. Guys, there are many buttons you can hit, but a like and subscribe button, I hope they took your fancy. And as always, guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.